It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 231. In today's episode, Hatchful is Shopify's digital branding assistant. If you're an entrepreneur, you're probably good at a few things. But unless you're a self-deluded maniac, you can't do all those things by yourself. One area many small businesses stumble at is their brand identity. Your product might be top, your product might be top notch, but if your identity is third rate, you won't get as many customers. Shopify is here to help with their app Hatchful. Hatchful is a digital designer in the palm of your hands. It's a mobile app aimed to help business owners create a visual identity for their brand. The app allows you to create beautiful graphics for your business, even if you have no design skills, from the palm of your hand. Just tell Hatchful a little bit about your business, and it guides you through the design process with tailored recommendations. You can choose from hundreds of logo templates and color palettes, and you have full control over the design process. Once your logo is designed, you'll have access to assets to use for your online store, as well as your YouTube page, Facebook cover images, Instagram avatars, and more. Shopify designed the app using real designers, how about that? Teamed with software that guides you, the nine designer, through the process. Hatchful does the job to empower entrepreneurs with the ability to get their business started with a visual identity quickly. We see Hatchful as a product that helps create the visual identity for new businesses, says Ade Labinjo, the product lead for Hatchful. We're not looking to replace graphic designers, thank God. Our main goal is to show that humans plus machines equal incredible gains. The combo of the two will lead to much better results than just the machine doing it. Hatchful is free to use for any user, whether they're a Shopify store owner or not. Just don't tell the kid who just graduated art school about this. <laughs> oh, but John, you're, you're a podcast host now. You're not a graphic designer. That is anymore. true. Um, this grinds my gears in a few different ways. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this first, though. Uh, I don't know. Go with grind your gears. Okay. Uh, all right, I I'm mean, gonna... I have I have thoughts, um, but I want to hear from you just because you come from that design world. Well, okay, um, there's there's two schools of thought, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put my practical you know business person hat on. Um, I would rather see someone use something like this than to break out their papaya font and pull a bad piece of clip art that they stole from the internet. <laughs> that being said, I think what has happened in the design industry, and this is just that general ob observation and no poke at Shopify or Hatchful or any of these apps is that it's become so commoditized and everything is just this um, pick and choose from, you know, you go to this, you go to this, the stock place and you pick your photo, you go to the other place, you pick a piece of a logo, you go here and you pick a piece here, you mash it all together. And sometimes it makes sense. And sometimes it doesn't. And the, the other problem with that is that, of course, designers are going to cringe and people who are, are design focused are going to, you know, kind of scoff at it and turn their nose up at something with, you know, because they can see crap when they see it. Uh, they know crap when they see it. The other problem, the other concern that I have as a designer, as a creative person is that uh, there's a real dumbing down of design and consumers are starting to not notice the difference and not know what is crap and what isn't. And I think something like Hatchful and the thing that Squarespace has, they have their little generator and there's all kinds of generators out there that creates identities. Um, it's, it's really, as, a, as I'll say it again, it's really dumbing down design and it's, it's, it, it comes down to dollars and cents. I know when I used to do branding, I would make a lot more money than I could probably get now for soliciting that kind of work. Um, and it's really unfortunate because a lot of people who are talented and, 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 you know, like I just said, the, don't tell the kid who got out of art school. Like I have kids coming to me all the time and say, oh, I just graduated art school. What should I do? And I'd be like, start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, I agree with you, but design is not the only one that happens to. You got to remember, like you can put a site together and an e-commerce site or whatever else without any skill whatsoever. Problem comes in is that sure, you can use any one of these design things. And like you said, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. That's because most of these are made to do quick and just put it up there. It's not made to solve a problem, right? Because design is just solving a problem, right? It's the same thing with development. It's the same thing with 
creating websites, right? It's, it's, it's what is the problem that you have. And unfortunately this doesn't solve, it solves a problem of, I don't have any money and I just want to put it up there. That's the only problem it solves. I totally agree with you. And I, I, I like your, your comparison because store owners do the same thing with their development. They'll say, uh, you know, I remember when you and I used to try to sell WordPress sites back, you know, back in the olden days. Yep. And you've, we've, we found ourselves in that spot where it was like, well, I can just do it myself. Here's my theme and I'll just get the theme and I'm, can't we just pluck this code from somewhere? And it's just right. like, it's such crap, you know, it's such crap. There's I mean, no- that's right. I mean, it's, it's the same thing, right? It doesn't matter what it just happens. It's, it's really strange in our industry in a tech industry where it's like, Oh, you just do it. You just press on buttons. Right. But in any industry it will happen. Right. Like if you, if you, uh, uh, you want to repair your toilet, you can do it yourself. Or yeah. your toilet. No, I'm serious. Like you can go and grab all your stuff and put it or you get a professional to do it. Right. You want it done or you want it done right? <laughs> well, right. I mean, if you can do it, that's fine. But do you really want to waste that time too? And like, it doesn't solve a, solve a problem. Like kind of got to look at it overall. This is good and bad at the same time. I mean, yep. and it's going to happen. Like that's welcome to, you know, tech. It's going to always happen. Like, looks what's happening with AI looks what happened with everything else, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, I think the thing that really kind of gets me and, and, and it gets me not for that. The app is not good. The app is actually very good. The app does what it does. What's on the tin. It does what's promised. It actually yeah. solves. It actually, as you said, solves a problem. I don't know if it solves it in the, 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 the perfect way. It just gives the impression that ah, design is easy. Design is not easy. What? I mean, that's, listen, that's the same thing goes for development work, right? Programming, the same thing. Oh, can't you just put it up there? Like, how many times we hear that? Like, no, you can't because there's a lot of stuff that has to happen in between, right? People were thinking it's just like, oh, just plop it up there. It's just going to be up there. It's like, nope. Actual yep. things work differently. Right. It, so, um, you know. No, no, I was just going to say, I've had the same conversations with clients over the years where it's like you're, you're, you've got this bigger and bigger barrier to to someone saying yes because it's like well look at all the stuff i have out here why can't we use wix why can't we use the weebly why can't we i mean you and you i used to run into can. that right you know, i mean you like, absolutely can <laughs> you can go right go right ahead but don't call me when it breaks <laughs> right i mean that's that's the truth right like go ahead have fun yeah so not to bad bash spotify i'm spotify why do i keep saying that not to bash <laughs> shopify or hatchful or any of these generators um i think it's a good start and if and if a business owner uses this they should keep in mind that this is a good start okay so if you're you've got you know you want to get you know proof of concept up and you want to get something going and you got you know you're you you're selling your new leather bags and you want to get a website out great do do this i would rather see you do this then then pull a piece of crappy clip art and like i said the papaya font this is a great start is it a, mm-hmm. is it the, is it the the solution that you should consider for the rest of your business life absolutely not i think it, but, but but i think it's a good solution for when you want to start something and you have no money and you're trying to start it and like like how many times we've seen this people are like they come to us we're like well we don't want to do it and you're like well, it's going to cost you this much and they're like oh my god that's expensive you can totally right. do it the other way. It's, and then, and then like, that's the start, right? Test your product, test your idea, test all those stuff before you go big. Yep. Yep. I mean, you're going to pay now or you're going to pay later. And it, that's, that's the things that you have to balance out. Um, Cause if you go, I mean, if you spend some time with a designer and you have someone who's going to think out all the uses of your logo and how you, and, and all the different variables and all the different scenarios that, that is time well spent. Um, but if you just do it quick now, you're just going to wind up paying later. So again, it's the same thing with development and all, you know, all these, all these apps are just a gateway, a bridgeway, a patch, something to get to your, to where, to where your true destination should be. Absolutely. I mean, you can listen, you can start something and, and you're going to spend all this money, all the stuff and it never works. Yeah. I'm a big fan of small and just keep on going and growing as you go along. Grow it, grow organically, grow the right way and not just slap. Exactly. I know we just went into a rant about a whole bunch of different things at the same time, but it all relates though. I mean, I hope people listen to this and kind of understand where I'm coming from because I've been in the design field for (laughs) many years and I've, I've seen all the, 
bullshit. And I, <laughs> I've dealt with so much like of this conversation that you have with clients and now working with Sumo and seeing on the development side, just the, the, the things that people, the arguments that people try to make. And a lot of it is based on, Oh, we can't afford it. And what is it? You, you pay now or you pay later. Um, you know. Yep. 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 All right. Cool. Anything else? No, that's all I got. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.